Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. Here, I am going to discuss about the annual calendar released by the Railway Recruitment Board. Along with that, I would like to discuss about the syllabus comparisons of CBT1 examination of ALP, NTPC as well as Junior Engineer examinations. So here, the tentative calendar was released on February 2nd, 2024 and here the calendar is showing like this. January to March ALP notification will be released. That is what they have said. Already this notification was released. Then in between April to June technicians notification will be released. Then from July to September in between this time NTPC notification, junior engineers notification and paramedical categories notification will be released. And in between October to December, level 1, ministerial and isolated categories. So this is the annual calendar for RRB recruitments which was released on 2nd February 2024, dear student. Now, coming to this ALP notification tentative timelines. So that was also given. So this notification was released in the month of January itself. And here the notification number goes like this, 01-2024. So, the last date for submission of applications for this notification is 19th February 2024 and the CBT1 examination will be held in between June and August 2024. The second stage CBT2 will be held in September 2024. This is tentative schedule only dear students. Then aptitude test is scheduled in November 2024 and after aptitude test short list of document verification will be released in November 2024 or December 2024. Not only about this ALP notification dear students, technicians notification tentative timelines are also given here. Here the technicians notification, so CEN number 02 2024, this is the number through which the notification will be released. Tentative number of vacancies are about 9000 as of now dear students. Publication of notification in the employment news will be in the month of February 2024. Then submission of online applications will be in between March to April 2024. Computer based tests will be held in between October and December 2024 and shortlist for document verification will be released in February 2025. So this is the tentative timelines for technician post year students. Now let me go for the various examination pattern as well as the syllabus comparisons. Now this RRB ALP CBT1 exam pattern as per the notification that was released recently. So the notification number already we have discussed 01-2024. The total number of questions will be 75 questions. Time duration is 60 minutes, 75 marks and negative marking is also there. That is one third negative marking for each wrong answer. So this is the assistant locomotive pilot examination CBT1 pattern. Now coming to RRB NTPC CBT1 examination pattern as per the previous notification. So the notification was released in 01-2019. The notification was released and the number was 01-2019. So here the time duration of this examination is 90 minutes. The total number of questions are 100 questions here and 100 marks will be there for these questions. Each question is carrying one mark. General awareness 40 questions, mathematics 30 questions, general intelligence and reasoning 30 questions. Then coming to this RRB JE examination CBT1 pattern as per the past notification which was released in 2018-19. So 100 questions will be there, 90 minutes duration, 100 marks and here also one third negative marking is there. Now, in this RRB JE CBT1 exam pattern, for mathematics 30 questions, 30 marks will be there. General intelligence and reasoning 25 questions, 25 marks. General awareness 15 questions, 15 marks. And general science 30 questions, 30 marks will be there. So total 100 questions, 100 marks and 90 minutes will be there in this RRB JE CBT1 examination pattern. Okay, now let me show you the syllabus comparison of various topics so that you can understand what is the difference in the syllabus and accordingly you can prepare. Then coming to the syllabus. So RRB ALP syllabus as per the recent notification. Then RRB NTPC and JE syllabus as per the past notifications. I am just giving a comparison here. So you can see number system is there in 
all the three examinations. So this is mathematics part dear students. I will show you all the different parts that are there. Then board mass is there in ALP as well as JE. Then decimals are there in all the three examinations. Then you have fractions. Then you have LCM and HCF here in ALP and JE and here also in NTPC examination. Then you have ratio and proportions in all the examinations. Then percentages are there in all the examinations. Mensuration is there in all the examinations. Time and work, time and distance, simple and compound interest. Then you have profit and loss, elementary algebra. Algebra is there, geometry is there. Okay, statistics part is also there here. So this is RRB NTPC mathematics syllabus. Up to here only in RRB NTPC mathematics syllabus it is there. But as he mentioned etc here, so the syllabus might be having the more parts that are explained here like you can see square roots, age calculations, calendars and clocks, pipes and systems. All these are the topics which you study up to your 10th standard in the mathematics part. Okay, so this is the syllabus related to mathematics dear students. Coming to general intelligence and reasoning or mental ability. So here general intelligence and reasoning or mental ability you have analogies everywhere. Then you have alphabetical and number series. So here it is there coding and decoding, mathematical operations, similarities and differences, additional parties here. Then relationships is there in all the examinations. Then you have syllogism here and here, here also syllogism is there. Then jumbling part is there. Venn diagrams are there, you can see jumbling Venn diagrams. Then you have data interpretation and sufficiency. Here you can see data sufficiency is there. Here also data interpretation and sufficiency is there. Conclusions and decision making. So here statement conclusion he has given. Conclusions and decision making is here. Then you have similarities and differences. Similarities and differences are in this examination also. In the next slide, I will show you similarities and differences part will also be there in this NTPC examination because etc is mentioned here. Then you have decision making maps interpretation of graphs additionally here. So you can see everywhere almost the syllabus is same in every examination. Okay, ALP or NTPC or JE. If you observe mathematics syllabus is almost same. Then general intelligence and reasoning syllabus is almost same. Then coming to the science part. So you have physics, chemistry and life sciences. General science and life science here it was mentioned. Here also physics, chemistry and life sciences was mentioned. And if you observe up to 10th standard CBSE syllabus, he is mentioning up to 10th standard level CBSE syllabus science part. You have to study for this part. Now coming to the general awareness syllabus. So here. This general awareness contains static general knowledge as well as current affairs. So there will be slight variation in the syllabus of this particular part in different examinations. Coming to the ALP part, let us discuss about ALP part first. Current affairs is there, science and technology, sports, culture, personalities, economics, politics and other subjects of importance. So this is in the ALP syllabus. Now let me show you about the JE examination syllabus. Here also current affairs is there. Indian geography is additional here, culture and history of India including freedom struggle, Indian polity and constitution, Indian economy, environmental issues concerning India and the world, sports, general scientific and technological developments etc. So this is mentioned in the JE syllabus. But coming to the NTPC syllabus, little higher syllabus is there in this NTPC part. So you can see current events of national and international importance. This is there in every examination. Games and sports is also there in every examination. Then art and culture of India. It is also there. Indian literature. So this is little more syllabus here. Indian literature which you have to study. It is not there in other examinations. Then you have monuments and places of India. This is also not there in the other part. Then history of India and freedom struggle physical, social and economic geography of India and world. This is additional syllabus dear students. 
then indian polity and governance so this is in this part so je examination also indian polity is there then additionally in rrb ntpc this all syllabus is there general scientific and technological developments including space and nuclear program of india so this is the additional syllabus part then un and other important world organizations this is also there environmental issues concerning india and world at the large then basics of computers and computer applications so this part will be there in rrb je cbt 2 dear students so if you prepare for this part here for this ntpc examination rrb je cbt 2 also you can write easily because this same syllabus is there in that part then common abbreviations transport systems in india indian economy famous personalities of india and the world flagship government programs flora and fauna of india indian government and public sector organizations of india so for the current affairs part if you study rrb ntpc syllabus or the general awareness part if you study this rrb ntpc syllabus this is more than enough to clear alp examination or je examination okay so try to understand that if you prepare for any one examination remaining all examinations also you can attempt easily now ace engineering academy is offering pre recorded courses for rrb je cbt1 so these pre recorded courses are available for 3 month duration 6 months duration and 12 months duration so there is a 20% discount on these pre recorded courses so you will get 20% off if you use the code ace 20 dear students so this is rrb je cbt1 part then this will be helpful for rrb alp as well as ntpc examination also then rrb je cbt2 courses are available for civil mechanical electrical electronics and computer science so 3 months 6 months and 12 months duration pre recorded courses are available so you have to use the code ace 20 to get 20 percent discount not only this rrb je examination pre recorded courses dear students we are offering SSC JE paper 1 and paper 2 pre recorded courses for civil electrical and mechanical engineering students so 3 months 6 months and 12 months duration courses are available so you have to use ace 20 coupon code in order to get 20% off on this course then coming to SSC JE SSC CGL pre recorded courses 3 months 6 months and 12 months duration pre recorded courses are available you have to use the code ace 20 in order to get 20 percent off so you can download ace online app and listen to the demo videos for seven days free demo videos will be available if you like the course then you can go for the subscription option by using the code ace 20 to get 20 percent off on SSE JE and rrb je as well as SSE cgl courses okay for more details visit ace online or ACE Engineering Academy website. Thank you, all the very best.